evening to our pants here. Now, it's a lovely crisp evening. I've got loads of layers on them on my outside because I want to test this. And there's hardly any wind, but I, I want to test two cookers, and compare them to each other. And uh, if all goes well, it should work out all right. Now the first cooker is this little pack from China which cost eight pound. And the second one is my cook kit, but in it is the little wick cooker, spirit burner. It's a spirit burner with the wick that I bought from the uh, garden center. So I'm going to compare the two and see because they're both impressive I'll tell you that now but we'll see if there's which one's got the edge so the first one I'm going to unpack is the one in the leather pouch and uh, push down in the middle it's quite you can see and I wanted you to see this how, how um, snug it is it doesn't fall apart there's, and there's quite a lot in here now there is the same mug as that in there and the little trivet the bushcraft blacksmith trivet and inside here is a little cloth for wiping your hands the actual spirit burner and a mug to drink out of and a container or mug if you want to call it that to um, actually boil your water as is this one here they're both exactly the same size they were bought at the same time and they're from Spain so made in China but they're from Spain so there's the kit all laid out there on the little cloth that's inside that it's just if you want to wipe your hands later here you go so I'm going to set them up and get started Now on the one from China, I've um, only used a kettle on it before and I found that there is a little bit of a problem when it comes to just using a mug if you just want to do a mug of water for a drink quickly um, you have to configure it like that whereas it's spread out and then it just falls down on the centre um, so that's one little drawback but sold by not opening the legs all the way still sturdy very sturdy it's not going anywhere and uh, when they're lit and the, well this one <laughs> it's like a rock as you can see it's, um, it's quite a quite a thing so I'm happy with that you can drop that on there like that and I wouldn't like to do that with that one it'll fly all over the place but as you can see you put it on there and it's there's a little bit of a rock on it, but it's, it's because the um, wood is uneven, it's all other than that, it's okay. So I'm now going to fill up both of them and light both of them, and then I'll be back. Now I've measured out with this the same amount in there as there is in there. And I'm leaving them both to steep for a couple of seconds, then I'm going to come back and light the centres of each one and uh, see how long it gets up to boiling speed let's get up to boiling well I've uh, lit them both and as you can see the one with the wick is uh, up and running already and I left them to steep quite a while as well this one's not blooming yet but in the fairness I'm going to put that on there already I'm going to put the lid on and hold it to boil. This one will bloom in a minute. It's just that it's really, really, it's really quite cold. And this is the time. There's the watch. I'll leave you for, to work it out for yourselves. When I'm, uh, I think I'll just put that on there. 
and this one I'm going to put on here. It's a bit windy. But, uh, I've done this deliberately in adverse conditions. Okay, just to show you how warm. Um, now this is starting to bloom, as you can see. The jets are alight. I think it's only fair that I put this cup of water on there. Now it is exactly the same amount of what's scary about the shaking. Exactly the same amount of water on both of them. Lids on. Oh, there we go. And that was the time that that one went on. There's about a couple of minutes in it. Now I'm going to leave these without a windshield. Right, just want to see how they go with the, the, the adversest of conditions okay let's see what happens I think that's only fair I wouldn't normally do it like this normally I get the shield and do everything else but let's see how they cope with really adverse conditions and as you can see it's blowing all over the place and so is that so when it's when it's coming up to the boil I'll be back As you can see, there is a rolling boil on there coming up. And then this one, um, there's more coming out of it, got to see. Um, and it doesn't seem to be that hot at the moment. And it's been about, been about five, four, four or five minutes. This one is, this one is burning. Well, good. No. And, um, I think that if I was out in the field, I would call that definitely. gone out that's cool and I'm going to just to show you that this is hot water and this coffee is not going to go all scummy let's see what that is a very good cup of coffee and uh, I'll let you decide how long it took by the watch I can't figure it out for now. Oh. But I always say that that is a cup of coffee mate. This one is still going. And it's run out of steam. There was no there was no one I think and they had exactly the same amount of fuel in them. And that surprised me that is but I'm I'm going to say this right this is an adverse test it is extremely windy and it is bloody cold really cold so you know it's like coming up the four o'clock the sun's gone down and it's it's getting really really um, cold so there you are that's gone out it hasn't reached boiling unfortunately um, but I will check the results of this and I will do it again but no that that wouldn't make a cup of coffee and you see it was exactly the same amount of water in there as was in there there might be a little bit less in this one but mm, that's neither here nor there the homemade wick burner creamed it it looks better and it looks really really flash with the jets all going and everything else and it is a good cooker because i've had a i've had a six minute board out of this in in really nice weather 
right, and no wind. It was a six minute ball. This was blowing, well you could see how bad it was blowing. And that carried on going and it just ate through it. And I've got a cup of coffee out of that, I haven't got one out of that. I'm starting to lose light now, as you can see. But um, there is the two cookers and I know what one I take out with me but that one I will take out with me as well because there's nothing wrong with it it just obviously I've got no windshield around it or and anything I just wanted to see how they would cope but with a windshield around it this one I think would come up the same so I'm going to um, take some time and uh, put a windshield around this tow it all up and try again with the same amount of fuel that was in that which I know exactly what it was because I've got the measure down there. Okay, but I won't do it tonight because I'm bloody cold. I'm going to have my coffee. So, thanks for watching. Catch you later.